See, they are back in the game. Beyond back in the game. This is incredible. Let's just look at how beautiful this is. Absolutely what? stunning. I've seen this sort of composite concrete look before, but this is the most concrete-y yeah. concrete that I've seen. So Sarah and Jason, the judges absolutely loved the setup of your bench top. Tell me about it. This is a beautiful new product by Caesar Stone. It's called Rugged Concrete. And when we were designing our kitchen, we thought it would be great to have a little designated zone for drinks and bits and pieces when you're entertaining. Jaren thinks the kitchen has a beautiful colour palette and a great layout too. It has lots and lots of usability. I think this is mm. super successful. So we chose a 900 Bosch oven. We wanted to, to have a big enough oven for you know the big family meals that we, we cook as well. We've chosen a second oven as well to go in the kitchen because I know for myself when I'm cooking, especially cooking a big meal or for other people, you might be cooking something in the oven that you can't touch and then you want to start the dessert and you can't, you've got to wait. So it's a real hassle when you've got lots of things to get done. So the second oven is perfect and this one um, also has a steam function. It's kind of classic, yes. but at the same time the little design touches they put in here make it feel really glamorous and luxurious and modern at the same time. And I feel that this will look as fresh a decade down the track as it does today. The best of all for those coffee addicts out there, the Bosch inbuilt coffee machine which is so easy to use. You've got lots of different functions here. You can change from double shot to macchiato, whatever coffee you want. I really like this Caesar stone. It looks like marble. It does look like marble, which is why we chose it, because we love the look of it. Look Stay. at this beautiful step here. It's so Because we all end up with our jars of vinegar and bottles of oil and everything here to move them up there. Yeah. Simple genius. Yeah. Well, the judges did love it. I think Neil in particular thought it was genius. Yeah, we, we agree with Neil, yes. We think it's genius as well. It's nice to have different surfaces as well in the kitchen instead of just having straight flat lines and a, a splashback. And those beautiful timber stools they put with it too, they are absolutely on the money in terms of yeah. the balance of textures, contrasts, surfaces. Yeah. You've got a lot of different textures and surfaces going on. One that I'm really attracted to is the new metallic surface over here, hiding the fridge. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So um, it's called Titan Metallic and we thought it would be um, a really great contrast with the grey to pick up the greys and the white and also to wrap your fridge in it, um, it looks absolutely beautiful. Everything about that configuration from functionality with the materials on the front and the handles, mm. perfect. This is a really, really beautifully sized butler's pantry. It is perfect, it's so nice to keep the kettle and the toaster in here. You've got cupboards, you've got your second sink, you've got your second dishwasher. It's like functionality for days. Enormous pantry. And then down the bottom we've got extra drawers, so pull out drawers for, you can either put the plates in there or you could put pots and pans in there, they're nice and deep. So tell me about the install process, what was that like? Uh, it was amazing, um, we were sitting here, on, it was a Monday or Tuesday morning, about 7.30 there was a knock on the door and all of a sudden an army of people walked in. The entire kitchen was put down and I was like, there's no way this is going to happen. And then five o'clock that afternoon, um, majority was in, and some guys come in, put the bench tops on. It's a blink and it's in. It's just incredible. It was, yeah. And they are so quick at doing it. You're making it sound so easy. You walked in, you spent well, two hours designing the kitchen, and then it took a day to put it in. When we had to go and design our kitchen with Freedom, I was a little bit panicked, thinking, I'm not 100% sure what I want. I would never in a thousand years have thought of going with Freedom, I said, to get a kitchen. I said, because you know, generally you go to a cabinet maker, then you get your plumber, and then you get the guy, and you get all these different people you get involved with to make your kitchen. And I said to Sarah, that was just like, you know, like so a, a one stop shop. Well, Neil described your kitchen as high end without being ostentatious, and I think he nailed it, but especially you nailed it. Congratulations, mm. you've Thank done such you. a Thank great job. Much. And uh, here's cheers to um, Freedom for all their help. Thank you very cheers. much.